The Lanham Act establishes a federal civil right of action for false advertising. In 2014, courts were split on how to determine who had standing to bring a federal false advertising claim. Three sets of circuit courts applied three different tests, which created inconsistent rulings. In Lexmark International Incorporated versus Static Control Components Incorporated, the United States Supreme Court established one consistent framework to determine standing to bring a false advertising claim under the Lanham Act. Lexmark International Incorporated manufactured and sold printers and ink cartridges. Lexmark printers only accepted Lexmark cartridges, but other companies refilled and sold used Lexmark cartridges in competition with Lexmark. In an attempt to stop this practice, Lexmark launched a program where customers received a 20% discount on new cartridges if they agreed to return their empty cartridges directly to Lexmark. These cartridges contained microchips that disabled empty cartridges until Lexmark replaced the microchip. The packaging on Lexmark cartridges included a notice listing the terms of the program agreement and stating that opening the cartridge box bound consumers to those terms. Static Control Components Incorporated manufactured and sold parts to refurbish and resell used ink cartridges. Static developed a microchip that mimicked Lexmark's microchip, which allowed remanufacturers to refurbish and resell used Lexmark cartridges. Lexmark sent letters to cartridge remanufacturers informing them that using Static's products to refurbish and resell Lexmark cartridges was illegal. Lexmark sued Static for copyright infringement related to the duplicate microchips. Static countersued for false advertising, claiming that Lexmark's packaging notices and letters to remanufacturers were misleading under the Lanham Act. The district court dismissed Static's countersuit, ruling that Static lacked standing to bring the claim. The Sixth Circuit reversed. The United States Supreme Court granted certiorari.